while we wait, I know quite a lot of limericks. <laughs> <clears throat> We're only doing this because of the insane demands of security, which neither Dinesh nor I asked for. We didn't want to be protected from you people. <laughs> but if, if it must needs be that your bags are searched and your person humiliated, it must needs be. He's ready. I'm ready. He's ready. Good evening, everyone. My name is Father Kevin Augustine. I'm the pastor of the St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Center and the director of the Aquinas Institute for Catholic Thought. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our second annual debate in honor of our patron, St. Thomas Aquinas, whose feast day is celebrated on January 28th. St. Thomas was a medieval philosopher, theologian, Dominican priest, and the greatest thinker of his day, and one of the greatest of all time. Because of his love of truth, St. Thomas never shied away from a good debate or a heated controversy, and he is best known for his brilliant synthesis of faith and reason. One of the main methods of education during his day, of arriving at the truth of things, were several day-long several day disputations on a wide variety of topics. It is in this spirit that we welcome you here tonight. First, many thanks uh, to uh, several different groups and people. Uh, first, to our Sunday Visitor Institute, the Augustine Institute, and Jim Pfaff from Opinion Times for co-sponsoring this event to Mackey Auditorium for allowing us to use this facility, to all the students of the St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Center who helped pull this event together, for Matthew Botker, uh, the chief architect of this event, and a thank you, a special thank you, uh, to our two speakers tonight, to Mr. Christopher Hitchens and Mr. Dinesh D'Souza, as well as to Dan Kaplis, who has agreed to moderate. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for being here with us. As I'm sure many of you know, survey cards were handed out as you came in tonight. Uh, this is a little survey uh, for us to see uh, who has come with what views and to what extent people may have been persuaded one way or another. So of course you don't want to fill out those cards until after the debate is over. <laughs> uh, to uh, encourage you to fill out those cards and to turn them in, we will be raffling off an iPod Touch after the debate. <laughs> Not sure what that is. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> now, to be entered in this debate, which will take place you know, offstage tomorrow, and we'll contact the winner tomorrow, to be entered, you must fill out the survey completely, and we will contact you tomorrow if you've won. Please hand the completed surveys to ushers on your way out, or drop them in the boxes just outside the auditorium. The main sponsor for tonight is, tonight's event is the Aquinas Institute for Catholic Thought, which is the intellectual outreach arm of the St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Center, which is the Catholic campus ministry which serves the University of Colorado. It exists, the Aquinas Institute, to educate students, faculty, staff, and the broader Boulder community in the Catholic intellectual tradition. We seek to establish a continuous scholarly relationship with the University of Colorado Boulder without compromise or dilution to the gospel of Jesus Christ as expressed in the magisterium of the Catholic Church for the common good of all. As you know from tonight's event, one of the many ways that we apply this mission is through an on-campus lecture series. We bring excellent scholars from around the country, as we have tonight, to speak on a wide range of topics pertinent to our day and age. Recently, I have done uh, several interviews in anticipation of this event. One of the most often questions is asked from genuine surprise, although to me I have to admit it's a little strange. It goes something like this. Why are you doing this? Aren't Catholics supposed to be closed-minded? 
Afraid of questions and disputes, is this some new modern approach? My response has been no, this is not particularly a modern approach. In fact, it's actually quite medieval. As Catholics, we are not afraid of a good debate, intellectual dialogue, and posing difficult questions, especially the most basic, which also tend to be the most profound. Who are we? Where do we come from? What is our purpose? What does it mean to be human? How does one achieve the good or happy life in the classical sense of Aristotle? Now, we believe, of course, that reason is on our side, but why not fight it out a bit? Finally, we believe that faith and reason are not opposed to each other. Rather, they illuminate one another, and together they help the human person to arrive at truth. It is with these principles in mind that we host tonight's event. Just a reminder that this is a, an intellectual debate rather than an emotional one. Feel free to applaud our speakers, but please refrain from any outbursts or booing. If you are interested in finding out more about the St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Center, the Aquinas Institute, or upcoming events, there is more information available in the entryways. Having said all that, it, bring, it brings me great pleasure to introduce to you tonight's moderator, Mr. Dan Kaplis. Mr. Kaplis graduated with honors from the University of Colorado at Boulder, where he also served as student body president and was named the National Evans Scholar of the Year. Dan was then awarded a Juris Doctor degree from the University of Colorado School of Law. While at CU, Dan served on the Parish Council of St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Center. He is a respected legal analyst, and he has been a regular guest on national interview shows such as Larry King Live and The O'Reilly Factor. Dan is the host of the award-winning Kaplis and Silverman show on 6.30 KHOW. Mr. Kaplis' work on behalf of the disadvantaged has been recognized by numerous organizations, and recent honors include the Pro Vitae Award from the Archdiocese of Denver. In connection with his media work, 5280 Magazine named Dan among the 25 most powerful in Denver. Mr. Kaplis is married to Amy Sporer Kaplis, they are the proud parents of two wonderful children, 11-year-old Joe and 8-year-old Caroline. Please welcome Mr. Dan Kaplis. Thank you, Father. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Let's hear it for Father. Not only is he not afraid of opposing points of view, but... But he brings in one of the most brilliant, effective, sought-after speakers in the world on that point of view in Christopher Hitchens. And so we're all grateful for that. Hey, and, and a quick, quick note about the Thomas Center. You know, whether, whatever faith background you're from or none at all, trust me, you are welcome there as a guy who stumbled in there in the turbulent 70s, which make what you're going through look like romper room. It's just a, a loving, welcoming place, and, uh, and I'd encourage everybody, whatever age, to, uh, to drop by the Thomas Center at some point. Uh, as Father said, we're not in church tonight. We know that because there are people sitting in the front row. And so <laughs> that, means that, uh, that means that you're free to express yourself, but all positive, all positive, obviously, tonight. And uh, a confession I have to make, uh, I love prize fights. I love traveling to go to prize fights, but I've looked forward to tonight with these two guys more than any fight I can remember because there's something about that battle of great intellects. You know, one of the most profound issues in life that, that's just so much more stimulating than seeing guys, you know, knock each other's heads off. But make no mistake about it, I mean, spending 10 minutes backstage with these guys, they truly want a piece of each other. I mean, they, you know... <laughs> Highly unlikely anybody is going to leave with, uh, with a broken nose, but, uh, but these are two brilliant men, and, and they are deeply committed to their positions, and they are in it to win it. They are here tonight to win, and, and the format sets up beautifully for that. Unlike those presidential debates, which we all know were anything other than debates, uh, tonight will be. Tonight will be. And uh, we're going to go this way. Um, Dinesh will get 15 minutes to open. And then Christopher will have a 15-minute opening. Guide